some other thing that you might want to do is look at uh, input impedances, so overall input impedances. And the way we can do this, we run a transit analysis. I'll just go back to the standard transient analysis script. If I run this now, uh, R equals V over I, so we need a voltage and we need a current. So let's just tap on the uh, input voltage there. And we'll also look at this input voltage there. And as you can see, they're, uh, they're out of phase with each other. And let's look at the current that's running through this resistor. Now, if you roll over a resistor and you press it, then we get some current. So as we can see here, there's this bar. It's going up to, I don't know, 6.8 milliamps uh, voltage. Now, what, what we can do is if you right click, we're able to add traces and in add traces we can do some mathematical operations so r equals v over i so in this case we have got let's just go back which ones did we plot v n o3 v n o6 so add trace so we've got v n o3 minus v n o6 divided by the ir5 value okay Boom. Right. And what we get is on this left hand side is ohms. And as we can see, there is a slight variation. Um, it goes from minus 299.97 to minus 300.30. So, but what we can say is the input impedance looking into this circuit, therefore, is roughly 300 ohms. It roughly equates to this resistor here that we've, we've popped in there.